Mon Capitan. I got a favor to ask. Starting today, we're gonna collect some new materials. That's right, it's God Ark overhaul time. Basically, every Fenrir branch has all kinds of ownerless, unattuned God Arcs just sort of lying around. Most of them want to be in the action, so they require a special touch to keep them dormant. I'm talking materials, man. But of course, you're 95% awesome by volume, so the items on your shopping list are a little more challenging. You know, sometimes I just browse the God Arc database. I find user preferences, uh, fascinating. So, uh, I got a question for you. When you gaze upon a God Arc, tell me, where do your eyes fall? So young. Yeah, that's an important element when it comes to winning fights. So let me do a little rephrasing. What part do you think is most attractive? You know, to an engineer. Ah, oh, the chest. Oh, Captain, you are indeed a connoisseur. You see, it's the curve of the spine, the toned muscle of the back of the blade that truly gives it such power. Specialized strikes. People get so hung up on the edge. It's flashy and it's sharp, but without support, without support, that blade is nothing. The finest god ears, the truly great, do see things with a different eye. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Do any other parts draw your gaze? Entrance you? Now there is a place that I am rather fond of. Oh, I spent many an hour musing on it. The legs? <laughs> oh, Captain, you are most discerning. Like, like uh, a sommelier of God Art vintages. The parts that join the flesh of God Ark, that uh, make it a God Ark, those little connections that facilitate transformation. In the early days of God Arcs, uh, we're talking like classics. The way the legs were constructed was critical. And now, with all the new type God Arcs, <laughs> nothing beats a fine set of legs. Do any other parts draw your gaze? Entrance you? Now there is a place that I am rather fond of. Hey, hey, Mon Capitan. It's almost time to go. What are you two chatting about, huh? Having fun? Just discussing the merits of anatomy. You know, the chest, the legs, that sort of thing. Oh, so young. You're still focused on that level. I miss those halcyon days. Wait, what? <laughs> so very, very young. I was once like you. The only thoughts in my head were of bust lines and leggings. Ah, things were simpler then. And I am man enough to admit that I was once so easily led astray. But all of that, my little apprentices of appraising uhness, is a thing of the past. Really? Well, what are you into now, Haru? Come on, man, you gotta tell me. The neck. The end of a god arc's handle. The one people so crudely toss away as though it's nothing. The grip, they disdain. That's right, little brother. The neck is where everything comes together. Or perhaps it is where everything begins. Its thickness, length, subtle curves. Yes! These alone determine the beauty of an entire silhouette against a moonlit night. Of course, of course, how could I have been so blind? Yet now, it's as if the sky is open above and the purifying rain falls. <laughs> <laughs> Don't beat yourself up, kid. It's a long road to maturity. Good thing you've got me to guide you on the way. You've taken yet another step on your quest, on your journey towards the Grail. What an auspicious omen to begin a mission! give them a lot of attention. They get all sulky and start acting up. Then again, that's part of what makes them worth it. 
<laughs> Do I detect a Casanova in the making? There's hope for you yet, Gil. <laughs> what are you going on about? demanding. Sounds just like her, right? You're definitely one to talk. Make sure yours doesn't take after you. I'll give it a shot. I'm not used to seeing you without a grin on your face. Hmm? Oh, sorry, it's... It's nothing. Just some bad memories is all. Kate had something to tell me that day. The day she... She died. We were up early that morning and she said she wanted to talk. You ready to head out? Sure. Hey, Haru? Yeah? Well, it's nothing. I wanted to talk to you about something. It's kind of important, but it could take a while. Let's wait. Come on, sweetheart. If you want something from Haru, just let me know. <laughs> just shut up! Although, I guess if you really wanted to give me something, I might accept a gift. I don't know, something shiny? Maybe a ring? Sure, sure. Girls like pretty things. I guess I'll look around and see what I can find. Well, best get to work. Monsters to slay. We'll talk later. Yeah, later. Have a good day. Then she left us all. <laughs> she died before we ever had a chance to talk like that again. But I never knew what she'd say. It's no good dragging it up now, you know. But it's one of those things... When I remember, it all seems so unfinished. That reminds me. What? It was a while before that day, but I'd heard Kate was running around meeting with someone. Something about it struck a chord. I asked her about it once, but I couldn't get anything out of her. She just put on that Kate smile. Haru can't know yet. It's gonna be a big surprise. She grinned. And why did you wait all this time to tell me? I'm sorry, man. Saying anything about Kate has been tough. We both miss her. But time passes, things happen, and here we are. <laughs> Don't worry about it, Gil. I get you. For a while, it was hard to talk to you. The memories came flooding back. Anyway, I shouldn't have dredged it all up. Come on, let's head home. <laughs> 